Hello everyone, Alicia here with another Lightened Up Weight Watcher friendly recipe. And today's recipe is gonna be for leftover cranberry sauce muffins. Now I had some cranberry sauce left over from when I did my turkey Swiss and cranberry sliders. So I wanted to get that used up. So I went looking around to see what I could find to use that in and I found this recipe, which I will be linking down below in the description box. And I am gonna take that recipe and alter it, make it more Weight Watcher friendly, lower in points, calories, all that good stuff. But this looked really good. So I thought I'd take you guys with me and show you how these turn out. So first off, I'll go over the ingredients real quick, show you what you're gonna to need to make these. You're gonna need some all purpose flour, one and a half cups of that. And then here I've got some rolled or old fashioned oats. You're gonna need a cup of those. You're gonna need some unsweetened almond milk. I'm using this blue diamond. You're gonna need a half cup of that. A third cup, fat-free Greek yogurt, plain. And here I've got my cranberry sauce. That is three quarter cup. You're gonna need two large eggs. And here I've got no sugar added applesauce. This is a 3.9 ounce cup or roughly half cup. So you're gonna need half cup of no sugar added applesauce. For sweetener in these, I'm gonna be using this Lakanto monk fruit golden. A third cup of that. You're gonna need some salt, half teaspoon, a teaspoon baking soda, teaspoon baking powder, and then a teaspoon apple pie spice. Now, if you don't have apple pie spice, I do make my own. I will link how I do that up above and down below. But if you don't have that, you can absolutely just use cinnamon instead. And then finally, to top on these, I've got a quarter cup chopped pecans, and that's the measurement. It's a quarter cup chopped, not before chopped. So these are just going to be to sprinkle on the top. And that is everything that's in these, so let me get them started. To start, I've got my oven preheating to 350, and then in a medium-sized bowl here, I'm gonna add in my cup of rolled oats, cup and a half of all-purpose flour, half teaspoon salt, teaspoon baking powder, and teaspoon baking soda. And then finally, my teaspoon apple pie spice, or again, you can use cinnamon. And then I'm gonna just mix all of that together really well. Like that, now I'm gonna set this aside. And then in a large bowl, I'm gonna add in my two eggs. My half cup almond milk, half cup unsweetened applesauce, third cup Lakanto Golden, or you could use whatever type of brown sugar alternative that you want. This is just my favorite. Third cup fat-free plain Greek yogurt. And then finally my cranberry. Now I'm gonna just whisk all of this together until it's fully incorporated. I've got this mixed together well, so now I'm gonna take my dry ingredients. I'm gonna add those in. and then just mix those in. I've got this all mixed together. I'm not seeing any more dry in here, so I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna grab my muffin tin. Got my muffin tin here. Now you could either spray these with cooking spray and just pour the batter in. You could use paper liners, or what I like to use are these silicone liners. These work really well, and this is pretty much all I use anymore, so so that's what I'm gonna be using today, and I just really like these, because again, they're reusable. The baked goods come out of them pretty easy, so these are just kind of my go-to. So I'm gonna finish lining this. Got this all lined, so now I'm gonna fill these, and I like to use an ice cream scoop to do that. It just makes it easier for me to not make a huge mess. But the recipe says to fill three-quarter of a way, which, just looking at this, I think, there's gonna be more batter than that. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start off doing three quarters of the way filled on all these and see where we end up. I've got these all filled roughly three quarter full. Um, I've got batter left over. So what I'm gonna do is just top them all off as evenly as I can. Now you could make more if you wanted to make the points even lower on these. But like I said, I'm just gonna make mine bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead, fill the rest of these up with the rest of my batter, and then I will be back. Okay, I've got these all filled completely. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pecans. I'm gonna just sprinkle these on the tops as evenly as I can. 
Got those all sprinkled. Now these are ready to go in my preheated oven at 350. And I'm gonna start these off at 20 minutes. The recipe is doing 375 and I think they said 21. But I'm gonna do 350 and start checking around 20, maybe even a little earlier than that. But I will be back once these are done. What you're looking for is for them, the tops of them to kind of spring back lightly when you press them. So I will be back at that point. Okay, I let these bake just at 20 minutes. They are looking done. They've got some slight browning and they are kind of bouncing back when you press on them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them cool in the pan here for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna remove them and let them cool on a cooling rack. All right, I've let these cool for quite a while actually. Um, so now we will go ahead, break one open and see how they taste. And I'll give you the points and all that good stuff. All right, we got one of these. Would you break that open for me? These, I don't think I said the points are gonna be four. These are completely cooled. I think I said that. Whoa. All right, that's what they're We're left to picking. No well, picking down. <laughs> picking down. All right, so that's what they look like inside. Four points. I'm gonna grab a little bite here. So I got um, the pecan is really strong. I mean, pecans are good, so that's not a problem. To me, I'm getting oatmeal more than anything. A yeah. little bit of the cranberry because I had a little piece in there. Well, it depends on what you bite. Yeah, if you get the pecan on the top yeah. there. Um, so lightly sweet, and the only the only time I get the cranberry is when there's an actual cranberry. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it imparted cranberry flavor throughout. No, me either. Same, I, I got the little piece and it was, um, I could taste the cranberry, but. But it's very, um, very pleasant. It's very pleasant, it just tastes like a sweet oatmeal muffin. Yeah. Mainly. I'm not sure what I would change, or would you change? Nothing. Nothing? No, I like it. All right, so four points. What do you think of that? I'd eat it for four points. Okay. Well, it was fun to try out something different anyway and get that used up. Yeah. I think it's good use for the old uh, cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. All right. Our muffin's gone, so I guess that's it, guys. That was leftover cranberry sauce muffins. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.